y'all. Welcome back to Katie Resin. I got a new cherry mold. So we're going to get this poured up today. This is a big one. <clears throat> I'm excited about him. Um, I What I am going to do is I am going to uh, just pour like in the lower ring just a layer of this gold clear sorry i'm concentrating y'all making sure i stay in that line there I'll have to get this out of my way there. Okay, now I know my colors are going to mix and bleed and fall over in this, but that's okay. And let's see here. I'm going to pour some clear. I'm just going to let that move for a second. I'm hoping it covers the whole top of it. And it did. I don't have a plan. I'm just playing, kind of flying by the seat of my pants as always, y'all. I'm gonna put a little bit of gray in there. Okay, now I'm gonna stop with that. I'm going to put y'all on time lapse because I'm going to use the heat gun and I'm just going to kind of blow it a little bit. All right, y'all. I'll be back when this all cures up. All right, y'all, we're ready to demold. This guy, I'm planning, he's not all the way full, but that's okay. Uh, I plan to use him on the back of the toilet seat because I think that it'll hold, uh, or the toilet, uh, oh, daggone. I don't even know what to call it, y'all. I think it'll hold toilet paper very good on there because it's big kind of still soft and here's our tray i think that's cute i really like the sides the bottom i ain't crazy about but it's all right but i think a roll of toilet paper fit in there perfect see here's my plan extra roll and maybe a plant beside it i think that's cute all right, I'll see you guys next video. I'll get some pictures of this and put up for you. Thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you next video. All right, y'all, we're going to do this frog. I'm just going to put um, some alcohol inks in just the toes of this one, 
and then I'm going to fill it um, with uh, clear resin. I really do like this shade of blue. Um, there's not really too many shades of blue that I don't like and too many shades of pink that I don't like. Um, I think those two are my favorite colors. Um, but there are so many pretty colors. All right, let's put this resin in here. I never really thought about the colors not being down in the bottom of this frog. They're only going to be in the feet and the hands, and nothing else is going to stand out. So I'm going to try to go ahead and put some resin up in them feet so that they can come down a little bit. That's not enough blue in there. I'm daggone it. Um, I'm going to try to move it down a little bit, see if that will help. I don't even know where to start, y'all. Mm. Nope, that's horrible. I'm not going to do this frog. I'm going to get something else. Hang on a minute. I'm going to do this tray right here. Um, I'm going to pour it in there real quick. Y'all ever do this? <laughs> Stop in the middle of the project. That's how come I make messes all the time, maybe. Look at this. Goodness gracious. Now, I probably stained my bullfrog with the blue, but it'd be all right. Now, let me... I like it in the tray better, for sure. I'm going to put a little bit more in the frog just to kind of try to get some of that alcohol ink out of there, but I don't think it's going to work. None. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to wait for it to cure up. I just don't want that ink stained in my frog, but if it does, it does. Oh, well, right? I guess anybody that does this is messy, right? How many times have y'all started a project and done this and changed their mind right in the middle of it? It's not not during a video, probably, but I don't know. That rem that mold reminds me of a above ground swimming pool, like them oval ones. Give everything a little spray of alcohol, and I'll be back for demolding, y'all. All right, y'all. Um, y'all seen me changed my mind and i've changed it again i do that all the time and I, and that's why i make such a big old mess i believe but uh i pulled the re the resin back out of the bullfrog y'all see me make a thousand frogs i'm not doing another frog for a while so i'm just gonna put this in our dump pot it's a clear blue and it looks like this is going to fill it to the end. I bet y'all glad that I didn't do another frog anyways, ain't you? I can't help it, y'all. I just love them frogs. Y'all got to admit they are cute, though, ain't they? I can't wait to see what this scrap pot looks like, though. Um, I think it'll really be pretty. I really can't wait to see what that scrap vase looks like. All right, I'll see you at demolding, and we'll demold the, the tray and the um, dump pot. So I'll see y'all at demolding. All right, y'all, these are cured. They're still kind of a little bit warm, but I can't wait. So I want to see how they go. Could turn the light on, couldn't I? These are still kind of uh, soft, but they'll harden up.
And there we have our tray. Isn't that cute? That's really cute. I love that design. I don't know what that'll be used for, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Maybe something in here. And here's our big old dump pot. And there's our dump pot. Y'all, this is really cute. I like it. You're going to be able to see uh, the roots in this when you get a pot in it. Or a plant in it. A pot. A plant. I love that red and white together. And then two different shades of blue in it. I like it. Very pretty. All right, y'all, we got two little pretty pieces there, so I'll see you all next video.